Walk through the ruins of a Viking harbour or a medieval Scandinavian settlement and, well, one fact becomes undeniable. Timber that should have rotted long ago still stands strong. Beams, posts and planks survive centuries of rain, snow, frost and even direct contact with soil, defying the decay that claims most modern wood within a few decades. For the first minute, consider that Vikings and northern builders had no access to chemical preservatives, industrial coatings or pressure-treated timber. Yet they developed a method so effective it practically transformed softwood into stone-like durability. Understanding this technique offers not only insight into the ingenuity of the past, but also practical strategies for anyone working with wood today. Northern builders chose their wood with surgical precision. The foundation of this remarkable durability begins with careful selection. Vikings favoured dense heartwood from oak, larch, pine and chestnut, species naturally rich in tannins and resins that repel moisture and resist fungi. They avoided sapwood whenever possible, since it contains sugars that encourage rot. Even more impressively, they harvested trees during winter or early spring, when the sap was minimal ensuring that the timber would be naturally less hospitable to decay. Modern builders and homesteaders can emulate this approach. Selecting naturally dense, resin-rich species and sourcing timber at the right time of year significantly increases longevity. Even for small-scale projects like garden beds, fencing or tool handles, starting with quality wood creates a natural defense against moisture. Selection alone was not enough. Northern builders understood the importance of how wood interacted with water. Beams and planks were often split along the grain rather than sawn, preserving the natural fibre structure that limits water absorption. Edges were bevelled or rounded so that rainwater would run off instead of pooling, and posts were tapered at the top to prevent stagnation. Today, builders can replicate this principle by rounding post tops, chamfering edges or shaping beams to shed water. Even minor changes in the way water contacts wood can dramatically extend its lifespan. Freshly cut timber is vulnerable. Vikings solved this problem by air-drying timber for months or even years in ventilated covered storage. This slow seasoning allowed moisture to escape evenly, reducing internal stresses, cracking and warping that can invite fungal attack. Stable dry wood is naturally far less prone to decay, and this careful preparation was a critical step in achieving wood that would endure centuries. For modern applications, patience in drying timber is essential. Air drying wood before installation, even for outdoor furniture or small structures, prevents rot and ensures stability without relying on chemicals. Perhaps the most ingenious part of the northern trick was controlled heating. Timber was lightly charred over embers or placed near low, steady heat. This process drives out remaining moisture, alters the outer cellular structure and reduces sugars that fungi feed on. The result is a hardened surface that acts as a semi-carbonized shield against water and decay. Modern builders or survivalists can replicate this technique carefully, expose wood to low heat, rotating it for even coverage, to harden the outer fibers without burning. This alone creates a protective barrier, especially effective when combined with other natural treatments. After heat treatment, northern builders applied natural substances such as pine tar, fish oil or rendered animal fat while the wood was still warm. Heat opened the pores, allowing these oils and resins to penetrate deep into the fibres. 
Pine tar repels water and resists fungi. Fish oil penetrates further than most modern oils, and animal fats create a flexible seal that accommodates the expansion and contraction of timber. Together, these treatments created a multi-layer defense, turning soft wood into a material that behaves almost like stone in durability. Even today, applying natural oils or tar to warm timber is a highly effective way to protect posts, beams, outdoor furniture or garden structures. The process is simple, sustainable and proven by centuries of surviving northern structures. Material treatment alone wasn't enough. Builders elevated posts on stones or gravel to avoid ground moisture, raised floors to encourage airflow, and extended roofs to shield timber from rain. By combining intelligent design with prepared wood, they ensured minimal prolonged moisture contact, a critical factor in long-term preservation. Modern builders can implement the same principles easily. Elevating posts, allowing underfloor ventilation, and designing generous roof overhangs drastically reduce decay risk, even without chemical treatments. The longevity comes from working with nature, not against it. From Viking ship timbers to medieval stave churches and granaries, surviving wood demonstrates the enduring success of these methods. Careful selection, shaping, slow drying, heat treatment, oil infusion and moisture conscious design created timber that could withstand centuries of harsh climates. Modern treatments often fail in comparison, demonstrating that these northern techniques are not only historical curiosities, they are highly practical. By following these methods, modern builders, homesteaders and survivalists can produce timber that lasts decades or even centuries. This is proof that the wisdom of the past, combined with careful execution, can outperform many modern technologies. If you enjoyed this exploration into forgotten northern engineering and want more insights into ancient methods that still outperform modern products, subscribe to Relic Logic and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. The techniques of the past still have lessons to teach, and with careful application, they can protect our wood just as effectively today.